We're here for one reason, and that's out of concern uh, for the Fraser River, out of concern. Environmentalists and people living near the Fraser River rallied in Vancouver today. They're taking the city of Chilliwack to B.C. Supreme Court over a hazardous waste recycling facility proposed along the Fraser River. Their big beef, that the public wasn't properly informed. This is about honoring the health of the Fraser River and doing the thing, things the right way, not the wrong way. This is hazardous waste. If there's a, if there's a flood on the Fraser and this, this plant is flooded, all of that waste will end up right downstream. This is illegal what they're doing. They're saying that it has, it's a recycling site. That would be like saying that Rogers Place is a recycling site for beer cups. 41 times a year they recycle 20,000 beer cups. Now, the nuance here is important. They're not opposed to the idea of a hazardous waste facility in Chilliwack. As you heard, they're mad about where it will be built and the way it was approved. The facility will be located on a floodplain, right on the banks of the Fraser River. They say the city initially described the plant as a waste recycling facility when it rezoned the property and not mentioning the part about hazardous waste. They want the zoning bylaw declared illegal, which would return the project to the public hearing phase. Uh, this is pretty rare for the city of Chilliwack. Uh, I'm not aware of uh, another case like this in the last 10 years. And the city is arguing that residents were able, in fact, to voice their concerns at a public hearing last year. A decision on that matter is expected in the next few weeks. But let's take a look at the company itself. It says its record is clean, with no spills in more than two decades. Every month at the Chilliwack facility, Avitas would process about 5,000 liters of transformer oil containing PCBs, about 500,000 lamps or light bulbs, some of them containing mercury, and it would also act as a transfer station for many other uh, hazardous materials. Now, this kind of dispute is nothing new, and it's tough, right? You need facilities like this to dispose of materials that we can't safely deal with on our own. But when it comes to actually building and opening them, well, that's always a divisive issue here in BC. One of the most recent examples, Metro Vancouver's plan for a new waste incinerator, which could convert garbage to energy. The regional government plans to spend hundreds of millions on the facility, which would replace the system of trucking our waste to the landfill in Cache Creek. But uh, Fraser Valley mayors were dead set against the idea, saying people there would have to breathe in the garbage being burned. And the city of Vancouver is also opposed. Metro Vancouver still wants to choose a site for the incinerator next year. So what is the right way to deal with an issue such as this? We have Sue Maxwell here. Sue, you're, you're the principal at Eco-Inspire. You've also done a lot of work, a lot of research into zero waste. And so, uh, according to you, what, what is the right approach that pe people should be taking? Uh, I think the first thing really is to focus on zero waste. So how do we prevent having that waste in the first place? And that can be from uh, looking at proper design, looking at what kind of materials we're using, and then looking at what will happen with it at the end, whether it can be composted or recycled. So, for example, um, this facility would be looking at processing fluorescent lights, right. which have some mercury in them. But nowadays we have CF, uh, sorry, we have um, LEDs, LED lights, right. so the LEDs yeah. don't have mercury. So you can see if we design things properly, we won't need to be processing the hazardous waste in the same way. But that's sort of a, a long view of things, and certainly I don't think anyone would really dispute that that's the right way to be going. But when it comes to the huge amounts of potentially hazardous waste that we do have to deal with, and we're looking at planting a facility down right by the Fraser River, I mean, there's some concerns there for people. Yeah, I mean, I think the facility, in some respects, is a step in the right direction. So this facility is processing material that's already been separated to make sure that the hazardous waste isn't getting into landfills or incinerators, where it will be far more problematic and dispersed in the environment. So that um, some of the materials would be collected through extended producer responsibility programs, where the producers are paying for it and they're making sure it's handled properly. So that's a step in the right direction. But I think. What we need to also consider is where should we put these facilities um, and what makes sense. And so, you know, it should be on land that's appropriately zoned. Um, you want to take a look at what might come out of the facilities, whether it's uh, emissions to the land or water or air. Right. Um, and then also what other external factors do you need to consider, whether um, 
you know, is the site subject to flooding or, you know, if there's a spill or a problem, what are the potential outcomes from that? Yeah, and it seems like we always run into this problem because I, I don't think anyone disputes that there needs to be a way to dispose of hazardous waste material properly and safely. But at the same time, you get a lot of people who say, you know, well, not, not in my backyard or in this case, not by the Fraser River. So do you think those, those concerns that are founded or, or how, do you, how do you get around that problem? I think the first thing you do is you decide, is this facility needed? And so perhaps at a provincial level, we should have some uh, waste planning that sort of says, okay, for the whole province, what kind of facilities do we need and where does it make sense to put them? Um, and then I think it, it is important, though, to engage the public. So I think if you talk with the public, um, and for what I've heard um, from some previous reports in the spring, it sounded like um, some of the, the opponents were not saying that they didn't want the facility, but just they didn't want it next to the river. So, you know, I think it's really good when citizens are paying attention to proposals that are coming forward, that they're getting engaged and involved. So that part's really great. Well, it's also uh, an ongoing debate. Sue Maxwell, thanks a lot. Thank you. This is what men do.